So we've already turned off all the equipment, so the filter, the air pump, and the chiller are all off, so now we can start to get the fish, but the first thing we do is while the water is still in good shape, before we start to stir it up by taking out the gravel, we're going to get some of that water and put it into our Ziploc bags so that uh, the fish have good fresh water to travel in. <clears throat> so usually I start by taking some of the water out. Just put a scoop or two scoops into the bag. <clears throat> and then I'll put the bag into the cooler. <clears throat> and it will just, you have to be a bit careful, but it can sit up on its own. I'll get a second bag out. <clears throat> Usually we do two or three bags for the fish. Uh, it's, the fish are okay with about 45 to 50 in a bag, but um, if you have a long trip, you might want to just put <clears throat> 30 or so in a bag. Okay, then once you have them started, put a bit more water in. So next is the really fun part of pulling out the gravel. And we usually do this unless the fish are really free swimming, uh, just to take away their hiding spots. They'll go down into or onto the gravel. And it just, it's really hard to net them. So we take this out. <clears throat> and to do that, we usually put one or two hands in, depending on sort of how easy it is to reach into the tank. And then you carefully pull up some gravel and the fish will, Usually a stape on their own, but you want to just check it with your quick look before you put it into the uh, into the bucket. And what we not do is um, take it out the gravel out of the center of the tank first, because the fish's inclinations will be to go into the corners of the tank and where the gravel will remain. So we take it out of the center of the tank, they'll go into the corners, and we sort of pull the gravel, the remaining gravel, into the center of the tank. And they'll stay in the corners out of the gravel. And then you have less chance of uh, scooping out fish when you're scooping out gravel. So here's where we've uh, taken most of the center gravel out. So now we just start to pull it in from the sides. Fish will get spooked and go into the corners or the sides of the tank. And then we can pick up the gravel in the that's now in the middle without worrying about the fish. And one thing you do have to watch for sometimes in this type of chiller is they might swim up this uh, hose here that's free. It's the outflow hose and without the flow coming out they might uh, try to swim up it if there's still some water in there, at least up to where the water level is. And once the gravel is out, the fish are ready to be netted out. So we, when you take the belt, we always try to keep track of how many we are netting. Uh, so we have two in already, just because we need to keep uh, a total to report back to the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry. Uh, so now we're just netting. Uh, the next step is usually trying to get feeling back in your fingers <coughs> because we're going to have to close those Ziploc bags. <coughs> so these are all um, sort of heavy duty freezer Ziploc bags. So you just pull them up and close them. Make sure you hear the snapping. Check it to make sure you have good seals. Okay, so do one, just let it lie, do the other. And then, once we have them sealed, we lie them flat. This maximizes the uh, interface between the air and the water, just to give them a bit of oxygen as they travel, and then do the same for the other. And then usually I Sort of match up the two Ziploc ends and have them a bit higher than the rest so there isn't water pressure pushing against them which might open the, the seals up again. So and so like that, they're all good for their trip to the, uh, down, down to the river. 
And then once we're traveling, usually I'll chat on them every time we stop the vehicle. Once we get the, once I get them in the van, I'll chat them. And then once we get down to the river, I'll chat them just to make sure nothing's happened in here, like a seal is opened or something's fallen on them or the beds have flipped around or anything like that.